Christ is risen. Hey guys, Father Photius here with another of the parables of Christ. Um, today we are looking at the 16th chapter of Luke's gospel at the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. The Lord said, there was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torment in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those uh, from there pass to us. Then he said, I beg you, therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that he may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment. Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. But he said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rise from the dead. So this particular parable um, uh, deals with the issue of punishment and reward, and what uh, 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 what merits punishment and what merits reward. Um, wealth is seen in the scriptures as kind of a two-edged sword. Um, it, it is given to us for the purpose of blessing others so that if we receive it, it is understood that we are to use it to show mercy. We are not to use it to hoard. We're not to use it um, uh, to heap up for ourselves the pleasures of this life. We are to use it to show mercy. We look at the parable, does the rich man do this? No, he doesn't. Um, uh, and we can see that uh, it, it wasn't the case that he didn't know about Lazarus. Clearly, he was able to identify him uh, from down in Hades up in Abraham's bosom. He said, send Lazarus. Okay, so he knows who he is. Um, he didn't miss out on that. He simply ignored him in his life. He did not take pity on Lazarus in any way, shape, or form. He could have brought Lazarus into his house. He could have given him a fresh change of clothes. Um, uh, he could have had him sit at the table with him. Or if, if he didn't quite want to do that, bringing a smelly beggar into the house, he could have at least sent out a plate of food for him every day. He could have done that, but he didn't do that. The text tells us that the dogs licked Lazarus's sores. That is, the dogs had more mercy on poor Lazarus than the rich man had. And for the rich man's lack of mercy, his lack of charity, he is tormented in flames. That is uh, the reason for, uh, for his torment. Lazarus, by contrast, is carried into Abraham's bosom and he is comforted. Why is he comforted? Because he patiently endured his, uh, his suffering as chastisement uh, for his sins. He accepted it as, uh, as what was fitting for what he had done. He accepted it, and the text uh, does not indicate to us that at any time he complained, any time he moaned about it. Uh, um, it, it just uh, it, it, it describes Lazarus really in, in a purely passive way. He says nothing. 
He just waits. Um, and he believes that he is going to receive deliverance at some point, even if that deliverance comes in death. And indeed, that deliverance did come in death. Another aspect of this particular parable is the, um, is the sufficiency of the law and the prophets for us to live upright lives. Um, the rich man, um, still seeing Lazarus as inferior to him, um, still seeing him as kind of a servant to do his bidding when he snaps his finger, um, uh, says to Abraham, "Will send him to my brothers because I have five brothers uh, 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 to warn them lest they should come to this place of torment. Abraham says, no, they have Moses and they have the prophets. Let them hear them. That is, the Torah and the prophets are enough to live an upright life. The rich man protests, no, if you send him from the dead, they will believe. Abraham answers, if they won't hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they believe, though one raise, be raised from the dead. This is pointed directly at the coming uh, death and resurrection of Christ, which will be evident to all, but um, to his enemies will, uh, will not cause them to believe. Um, indeed, they will do what they can to conceal this fact. So that's it for today. And um, uh, tonight we have Bible study on Zoom. Uh, and so if you're interested in that, uh, email me at stsavatx at gmail.com and I will send you the link, uh, the meeting ID number, and the password for tonight's uh, Zoom meeting. It will go from 7.15 to 7.45 here on Wednesday evening and every Wednesday evening. God bless. See you guys.